Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be looking at Death of Hope. If you've been living under a rock for the past year, then Death of Hope is a horror heresy fan film, which is basically being made by one chap. He's called uh, Mark Lewis Spark. He does have assistance from like voice actors and all that kind of stuff. One being me. I know I'm quite terrible when it comes to my voice, but he wanted to make me as the Imperial Fist Tech Marine and I'm not really going to argue with him because I love imperial fist um but in this video um we're going to be looking at some of the brand new stuff which he's been working on um what he has been doing is that he's been actually being upgrading like everything that he he has like all the assets and stuff like that like all the armor has been basically pumped up to uh 11 uh he's just gone beyond the call of duty and just made this even more just glorious so uh we're gonna jump in and we're gonna show off some of the previews on some of this uh awesome looking armor so the first thing we're gonna be looking at is the world eater stuff now as you can see on the screen now um he's basically just pumped up and just made the world eaters even more awesome and um, when i first saw all this stuff and i was like how can he even make this even better than it is and then i actually saw like the full preview model um, and I was like, wow, this is just astonishing, absolutely astonishing work. You can tell that Mark is someone who, who has passion and love for the IP, just like, you know, me and you and stuff like that. So that really goes to show, like, when someone does a project like this, if you're a fan of the project, if you understand the law, that definitely brings it across to the final finished product uh, when you come to try and bring something um, uh, alive. Now, if we switch it and we look at the back of the model, um, you can just, yeah, again, you can just see like some of the passion. Like, just look at that pauldron. Look at it. It's it's just fantastic. Like, you can see like the backpack has got like a, a full brand new uh, rework and everything like that. We'll be taking a closer look at that in a second. Um, but you can see like all the spikes on his like uh, uh, on on his arm pieces and all that kind of stuff. It's just truly amazing work. I think he's I think he's definitely going to knock it out of the park when he actually does um, uh, release this, and hopefully that's going to be uh, very very soon. And the next one we're going to be looking at is an updated version of the Ultramarine. So of course you can't have the bad guys about the good guys um <laughs> maybe well maybe horace was the good guy maybe the emperor was the bad guy who knows maybe that's another debate for another day but we do have updated models for the ultramarines as well actually everything in every absolutely everything in the project is getting like brand new updates everything from like um uh just like the pauldrons to like the hands to the backpacks everything is getting like max love and it is just looking just badass that's probably the best word i can use absolutely uh, badass now this ultramarine uh, from what we can see he's got that, that nice funky uh, faceplate that's taken from i think it's the what's it visions of heresy the art book years and years ago i've always loved that um uh, that faceplate i think you can actually buy these on forge world as well i think they actually started uh, 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 doing them in um, in production i'm not sure what mark that is classed as i think that's just a variant of like let's say mark four let's say um, but it's 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 amazing. I love it. Um, what we do have, uh, this is uh, taken from Mark's page. He's given me permission uh, to show this off. Is um, some footage. So if I just put the footage on now on the screen now, you can see like all the passion he's put into it. Just just look at the breastplate alone. It's like there's so much things to look at. I can't really focus on it because there's just so much awesomeness going on and like i said this is only a preview he's going to be releasing some bigger stuff hopefully in the coming weeks so you can see this uh, in full depth but it's just it's just amazing everything from the chest pieces all the thunderbolts on it uh, it's marked the ultramarines um uh, the pauldrons with all the awesome designs and it. it's got like a vox thing around his collar the bell i think that's like um I think that's Rebute, if I'm not mistaken. If not, it's probably like very Greek inspired, you know, like the coins and stuff like back in the old days and all that kind of stuff. Simply, simply amazing stuff. What this does really to me, it makes me quite um, angry because if Mark can go and do this right on his own, then why in the Emperor's name can't a company come in who've got like millions and millions of pounds come in and do like a game like this? It's like right already just give mark some money so he can actually make a proper like 30 slash 40k game on the subject of actual games um mark actually is a world builder for um uh, games himself he actually works you know in a gaming company he's actually doing the world building engine for the new gears of war game um, i'm sure a lot of people are gears of war fans i've never played a gears of war game sorry so um yeah he he, he definitely knows his stuff he definitely knows what he's doing um, when it comes to building uh, environments and stuff like that and I think that's one of the things that I'm most excited about is like 
even though the models and everything um, is awesome, I'm really looking forward to the environments they're setting. And since that's basically Mark's job at the place he works at, I think um, he's got to just absolutely smash that and they're just going to look fantastic as well. There's another thing I want to talk about as well is that actually uh, Mark won a contest uh, the other week and it was for, do you know one of those like um, uh, smart suits, do you know what like, you put on and it like tracks your animation and all that kind of stuff? So um, he actually shown the uh, this project off to that company who had given it away, and they were so impressed by it that they actually um, gave him one of these like smart suits. So now he's got to be using that in this project as well. So like all the animations you're going to be seeing in the future are going to be like more or less real life animations. So that's really really awesome. Congrats to Mark on that as well. That is like a a really massive feat to uh, achieve so congrats mate and just to finish off the video i have a couple of images of new versus old uh, the first one is uh, the hand or what well, should i say power armor hand and um, so on the right you see the old version and on the left you'll see the new version you can see on of course uh, on the on the new version how much more detailed it is it's like uh, where all the knuckles are and all that and stuff like when it bends up and you know you move your hand um just how more awesome it is really i'm sure that's going to be an absolute nightmare when it comes to anime and stuff uh maybe but i'm sure mark is prepared for the amount of work he's putting on himself so uh, i'm sure he's happy with that and the next one is the backpack and you can see the backpack here as well like the old versions on the left and the new versions on the right you can see how much more detailed it is and yeah it's, it's just incredible it's just absolutely incredible this is what i mean like when mark's going ahead and he's basically reworking every last piece of armor every last bit of armor is getting a brand new rework i wish i could show you the full model images but of course mark wants to keep some of that stuff back so he can surprise you down down the road and when he does show that off your mind is going to be absolutely just blown it is incredible some of the new models he's done i'm really really waiting for the imperial fist tech marine to get a brand new um rework and get all spiced up and done up so mark if you're listening you know get working um on that tech marine because he's definitely the most important character in the entire series it's the imperial fist of course everything depends on if that imperial fist survives all right chaps that's me done for another video i hope you've enjoyed it i hope i've um uh, give you a nice little uh, briefing looked into like all the new awesome stuff that's going to be coming very very soon make sure you go and check out mark's um uh, youtube channel and of course the death of hope facebook page and all that kind of stuff they've got to constantly be posting updates and stuff all over and everything like that so make sure you follow and subscribe so you don't miss out on all the awesome uh, death of hope news thank you mark for letting me show off all this awesome amazing stuff i'm super super pumped i cannot wait to see the first part of this film and um, it's just got me in full on hype mode it's going to be truly truly amazing thank you chaps for watching the video i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you all very very soon see you now and bye bye